Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. Today's topic is how to use L over T ratio to evaluate the gate location design. I'm Jeff Chen, account manager of Monday 3D Europe team. During the pre-process, after we have imported the geometry and then add the gate design on our model, we can use the flow then ratio function by this button. That is the L over T ratio. So it will show the L over T ratio of the current gate location design. We can see the value through this color legend. And also we can show the L over T band. So that we can scroll this bar from the left to right. Uh, it shows the L over T ratio from the lower value to higher value. And also we provide this table to show what is the suggest L over T ratio for each kind of material. So for example, I want to use PP to produce this car bumper. So I can find out the PP in this table and it will show the suggest L over T ratio from 230 to 340. So this is the general suggestion for each kind of material. So here is another example. If we want to change the material from PP to PPS, the current L over T ratio from the gate location design could be too large for this kind of PPS material because the stress L over T ratio for PPS material is from 120 to 185. So in this case, we might need to add more gates in order to meet the suggest L over T ratio for PPS material. So we can use this function to help us evaluate the gate location design. Okay, so this is today's video about how to use L over T ratio to evaluate the current gate location design in the pre-process. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you like our video, don't forget to subscribe our channel. And if you have any question, please feel free to contact us through this email. We are very willing to answer any of your questions. I hope to see you in the next video.